Okay, so here's our familiar diagram from collision detection. We have V1 and V2 describing the wall. N is a normal on the wall. P is our ship's position. P1 at one time step. P2 at the next time step. We see that their distance on one, from one time step to the next went from positive to negative to the wall. D1 is our, is our distance here. So we want to know, we want to uh, get it back on the other side of the wall. So we want to, let's make a diagram here, P1 and some velocity vector here, V dt, typically going to be much shorter than that, gets us to our new P2. So V, in this case, V means velocity. Sorry, I'm not spelling that out there. So we have a wall. We know that we've crossed it, and we need to turn the, the ship around, turn, make it go back in the opposite direction from the wall. So uh, the other thing we can do here is we could just, in a simple, simple case, just say V equals zero, velocity equals zero, stop the ship, and leave the ship at P1 and say we've detected that we've crossed. Let's stop, full engine stop. We don't want to go any further in this direction. Well, that's the key, right? We want to find, actually, we want to find the direction uh, that we don't want to be going in this direction anymore, or we, want to, don't, we don't want to be going opposite the normal anymore. So here's normal. Let's draw a diagram of the normal and the velocity here. So here's the normal. The velocity is pushing us into the wall. And I'm drawing these two tail to tail because velocities doesn't matter what, what position they're in, or vectors don't matter what position they're in. So we want to draw them with the same origin so we can analyze and make, make diagrams that make sense. So we're going to project these. This is n. This is v. The length of this is v dot n because n is unit length. And that gives us the, the distance of this segment across here. If we want a vector that stretches from here to here, we can take n times v dot n. So the vector, let's do v dot n times n, is the amount of movement that we're move, pushing into the wall. That's what we want to subtract off of v. So let's say v equals v minus v dot n times n unit length vector there. That is going to result in V minus this guy. Uh, put them, you know, tipped tail. For subtraction, we're going to result in a vector that moves parallel to the wall. So we've stopped the movement into the wall dead. And we're just going to keep going along the wall. If there wasn't any movement parallel to the wall, then we would stop altogether. But that's not a bounce, right? That's just a cold, dead stop. The wall absorbed all of our motion in that direction. If we want to bounce, then we want to add some amount of that vector back in to this side to make us move away from the wall. Okay, pure elastic collision is going to say we're going to add that vector twice. And that will bounce us if we add that vector in uh, again, our velocity will end up doing that. So we're, we were coming in to the wall like this. We reflect around N, and we're coming back away from it. It'll look just like a ball bouncing off the wall there. Now, if you want to be a little more subtle, here's an interesting thing you can do. Instead of a full-on two, you want to do one. One gets us back to full stop plus some coefficient. We mentioned the name of this coefficient uh, of restitution, if you want to go look it up. That gives us how much bounce off the wall. If it's zero, there's no bounce. If it's one, it's full elastic. If you want to take some of the collision, you know, some of the bounce off, like some of the, wall, the energy absorbed, some of the uh, energy of the bounce, then this C would be somewhere between 0 and 1. 0.5 would absorb half of the energy. Um, so you wouldn't come back in a pure reflection, but you'd come off in that direction. And then if you wanted to give it you know, extra energy, the, the, the ball is like a, a bumper pad from a pinball machine or something, then this would be greater than 1. 
or you know where you'd have energy given to you from the wall so there's several responses you can do this is a more general uh, response with the with the coefficient there but this is what we want for uh, just pure elastic collision v equals v minus 2 v dot n times n